Well, back here in Indonesia, where police in East Nusa Tenggara have arrested Iraqi migrants after a boat carrying them was stranded in the water's area of Rote Endal. Thirteen Iraqi migrants, among them are children and women, were likely attempting to reach Australia by passing Rote Endal's waters, an Indonesian territory close to North Australia's border, which is one of the shortest routes linking Indonesia and Australia. Police also arrested three Indonesians who operated the boats and helped them to sail to Australian shores. They say that further investigation is ongoing and police will secure all the migrants before they are placed in a mig mig immigration detention center in Kupang, East Nusanga, Nusa Tenggara's provincial capital. Now, meanwhile, in the UK, four people have died after a migrant boat attempting to cross the English Channel collapsed on Wednesday morning amid freezing temperatures. Footage via British broadcaster Sky News shows passengers on board the sinking vessel seeking rescue from a passing by fishing boat while surrounded by choppy waters. The British and French Navy, Coast Guard and RNLI lifeboats attended to the scene to provide assistance as 39 others were rescued. The people rescued from the dinghy said they had, they had each paid 5,000 pounds to cross the English Channel. Well, Peru's new government declared a national emergency on Wednesday as it struggled to calm violent protests over President Pedro Castillo's ouster suspending the rights of personal security and freedom across the Andean nation for 30 days. The declaration suspends the rights of assembly and freedom of movement and empowers the police, supported by the military, to search people's homes without permission nor judicial order. Demonstrators outside the police headquarters where former President Pedro Castillo is under arrest scuffled with officers to demand his freedom. Castillo is awaiting a hearing to determine whether he will remain in jail for 18 months while authorities build a rebellion case against him. Linda Ceballos, one of the supporters of Pedro Castillo, said that people will rise with force once the national emergency is lifted. Wednesday also marks a week of protest since Castillo was ousted back on December the 7th after he sought to dissolve Congress ahead of their third attempt to impeach him.